on that day, he will say, it's time, the appointment for the ultimate crime. So take this bread and drink this wine and let this be a sign, a sign for your future sons to remember me by. Because tonight, this whole assembly will eventually cry. From tonight, you all will be desperately despised and some will intensely deny knowing me while lovers mentally die. When it occurs, some will stress why and some be hurt and surprised. So listen, as I describe the final scenes of my earthly life. From the day we met, I've tried to prepare you all for this moment, yet I know some of you won't accept and will try to protect me with knives. Some will run, run as fast as they can to get away from the spies, some escaping with deception and lies, with even one accepting a bribe. For me, that would be like a stab in the eye or a kiss on the cheek, a kiss that shatters my spine. But for the one who portrays the son of man, it would have been better if he had a large stone turned around his neck and drowned in a sea of slime. My life's due and the night's dew is heavy. And as I view and sight, I can see man's excitement is deadly. I mean, he's very frenzy-induced and intoxicatingly merry, ready to come and get me with weapons felt necessary. And in the morning, my blood will spill like someone pouring a sherry. This is a forewarning, so let this thought be more than secondary. And let me let you know that I'm also going to be buried but this fact is the saving premise and the saving factor for many. So come now, come follow me to the Garden of Gethsemane and pray in earnest so you confirm the fist of the enemy. I shall complete this journey with a love that burns with intensity and overcome the enemy with a love of a bearing density. But first, I must pass through the worst event in history so you can know the mystery of the love God gives insistently. I must endure your hate, then redeem men shaped in iniquity. And then receive fist, be bruised and blood taste. Hang naked, receive a spear in the waist. Be whipped, kicked and receive spit in the face. And then displayed on a piece of wood fixed for me. This will break your heart with tremendous grief when seeing this. But an overwhelming joy is at the end of this experience. So all ears that are hearing this, please let obedience flow. Oh, I can hear my betrayer approach. So rise and let us go.